Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we'll be checking out how to install a death script. Now this is one of the ones that has been highly requested for videos and I sorry I haven't gotten out so far. Um, but we will be checking it out today. So pretty much what this does, so if you get killed in GTA or 5M, uh, you normally respawn automatically. What this script does is it makes it so you ragdoll over and you stay on the ground. Then you could either be respawned or revived via a command and you can set up the timeout and all of that good stuff. So this will be really useful for a bunch of people who run RP servers, especially since this is like more realistic compared to just automatically respawning after getting shot or killed or something. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So pretty much all you have to do is you have to go to this um, GitHub page. It's no longer available for download off of GitHub. Um, it hasn't been updated in a very long time, but it does still work. Uh, so I've used this myself and I haven't had a problem with it. So in order to download it, you're going to click this little code button and then click the download zip button. And then go down ahead and download the 5m-rpdeath dot zip and you'll just open this up with either winzip, winrar, 7zip, whatever you use to open up these files you're going to go in and open it up with. And then you can see inside this first folder there's a second folder and this second folder is what are actually going to be using. Um, so then you're going to go ahead and go to your server dash data folder. It may be named something else if you're using zap hosting or it could be named resources if you're on like a private panel or something but you're going to go to the server data resources folder and you're going to drag the second folder so make sure it's the second folder in here into your resources folder so it just says rp death here you're going to go back to your server data go to your server.cfg file and add the folder to the bottom here just type ensure or start depending on whatever is in your file and then rp death Go ahead and save and close out this file. Now, real quick, um, I'm just going to go over what you can change to change the respawn time. So inside of the server.lula uh, file, and go ahead and open this up. And you can see you can. this is pretty much how the script fully works. Um, so you got this. And then inside of your client.lula file, you have the timeout periods and everything. So is RP enabled by default? Slash toggle death changes this value. So is it enabled? What should be, how many seconds should we wait before allowing the player to revive themselves? By default, it's 300. I'm going to change this to 30 so I don't have to wait an hour or a few, it's not an hour, but a few minutes in game. Um, so you have this and then you can just change that. Uh, you can allow respawn, allow revive, uh, die dumb, all that good stuff is in here. And you can just close that out and start your 5M server and your 5M client. We're going to hop in, see if it worked, um, and we'll go ahead and see how this worked. Now, I did want to mention one thing before I um, went into this, is this should work for every death, even if it's not player inflicted. So you could fall off a building and this would be active. So this is actually a really, really nice script to have. Um, but obviously, since it hasn't been updated in a significant portion of time, if there's an issue with it, you're kind of on your own. Um, but there are forks of this out there and you can find forks of it on the forums and everything. But it's just completely, uh, it still works from what I've tested with it. And I'll go ahead and show you that once we get into the game here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'll see you all in a moment when we get into the game. Alright, so we have joined the game. Now we can go ahead and test this. And I'm actually in the perfect place to test this because if I fall off of here, I probably will die. And we'll test out the death strip. So pretty much what we have to do is I'm just going to go ahead and die. By doing this, ow, um, so you can clearly see I haven't respawned automatically now and I'm just going to be falling down this mountain. Now if I do slash revive, uh, it says you, you have to wait before reviving yourself. You have 22 seconds remaining. So you can either wait or you can do also slash respawn and it will go ahead and respawn you at a hospital. Um, so pretty much you have the options of either waiting 22 seconds and reviving yourself where you are and I'll go ahead and show how that works right now by going... I uh, guess zooming up here with no clip and then falling out of the sky. So you pretty much have the option to wait or you can respawn yourself at a hospital. Obviously, you can just configure that uh, if you want to enable and disable that inside of that config file. Um, so we're just going to wait 22 seconds um, and just see what happens. And clearly, you can see it's counting down. Uh, so we'll just wait, respawn so you can see how it works and go ahead and end this video. It's a pretty drag and drop installation, pretty easy. And... Um, if you have any questions or issues with it, just make an issue on the GitHub or you can find a fork that does the same thing. But from what you can see here, it still works perfectly fine in terms of that. So you can see after my 22 seconds or whatever you configure, you can respawn where you are so you don't have to go back to the hospital and respawn all the way over there. 
All right, thank you so much for watching. If you have a suggestion for a 5M script or 5PD script resource video or whatever, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll be happy to try to make a video on it if I have time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.